Okay, here's our mustache pizza. And the colors I've got are, let me separate that a little bit. The colors I've got are white and yellow and orange and red and green and turquoise and navy blue and brown and black. I guess that's everything except um, purple and um, purple. I guess that's everything except purple. But anyway, um, I also have yellow green. I make a yellow green for the stuff like this. If you want to let the kids make, the, make it, that's fine. It just goes a little faster if you, have, if you make it. So here I go. I've got a, um, my two brushes, my um, angle brush and my um, kid's pointy brush. I'm going to get a big scoop of yellow and a little bit of orange, and I'm going to find the center, blend around a little bit right there. Just find the middle, just blend around a little bit. That's my cheese, okay? And I want to make a line that goes about um, halfway to the top, and I'm going to hold my brush on its edge and try to make this kind of thin, okay? Um, otherwise, you're going to have a lot of space between the eyes, and that's okay, but I'm going to make it kind of thin, 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 and then stop about halfway to the top, or about there. And then I'm going to, go to the bottom, but I'm going to go almost all the way to the bottom. You're going to leave about maybe a half inch or so. And then I'm going to make a frowny curve. Or I'm sorry, yeah, frowny curve. I want it to start here, and I want it to frown out like this, and I want it to come slightly frowny, but I want it to come um, about halfway over to there, about halfway over to there. That's about halfway, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to make this come up like this, and up like this, and there's that. And then I'm going to uh, make my eyes. Now I'm going to get some more of that yellow orange as I, as I go here. A little bit more, become a little lower now. And then I'm going to make two eyes. Now the eyes are going to be the same um, size. This one I make them a little different. So I'm going to do my thing where we rotate around. And I'll put another one like this, a little bit smaller like that. And then I'll paint it in. All right? And it's going to be lots of yellow, a little bit of orange. Paint it in. Remember how we paint over the lines if they look different so it doesn't look too um, well, much like goggles, you know. <coughs> I'm going to mess with this variation of color here because... I want to see pretty, um, pretty different shades. So lots of yellow, a little bit of orange, and do all that. Then I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm not going to clean it. I'm just going to wipe it off some. And after I wipe it off, I'm going to get some white and some, a little bit of brown and go up here and blend it a little bit like that. Mostly a little bit of brown. You might want to do that on a, on a table. The reason I didn't rinse the brush is because I don't mind some of that yellow orange in there too. It looks kind of good for crust. But you might want to have that blend in on the table because it's a pretty small area to be actually making your blend on the uh, canvas. But then I'm going to extend this line up because remember it goes up in the same angle as my um, cut. And then that's going to be a, kind of a, a very um, irregular curve like and, and a crust would be. Remember that's not curvy around there because my slice goes through there. So um, that's going to be more straight. And then I'm going to paint that in just lightly. <coughs> I'll put a little more white on there, maybe a little more yellow. <coughs> and then once I get that, paint it right up against my, my edge there. A little bit more color comes in there, that's fine. And then once that's done, I'll rinse my brush out and I'll paint my background. Now my background here is white and turquoise. And I'm going to get a big scoop of white and a little bit of turquoise and do like we do. Now I'm not going to paint this whole background today. Um, you don't need me to paint the whole background for this video. Maybe go a little faster for you. I'm going to paint right up against the edge, like we do right up against the edge, um, after we paint the big area. So paint the big, paint the big area, stroke it around, the big area all the way around, and then um, blend outside a little bit and paint the edge. Just like we do every painting, go right up against there, just like that. I may come back later and paint on this one. I might paint my edge, but I'm not going to bother now. I'm going to paint enough of the edge to paint my um, little shapes. I'll paint some of this out here to get some little shape options out here for you. And then that goes around like that, and that's it, okay? Now, I'm going to come back in on top of my pizza and start putting my um, elements, okay? Now, mine's a little bit wet still, so this green might go a little funny, but I'm going to start out with my small brush and get some um, yellow green, and that's my little yellow green color, and I'm going to put two little um, curvy peppers on here. This is a little, uh, his little eyebrows, like that. And then I'm going to put a mustache. I'm going to um, start just right under here. Make a nice little curve comes out like this. Again, it's getting all orange up in it, but you get the idea like that. And then over here, same thing, like that. Now, what I, what I did when I did this with the kids was I, we, we, didn't, um, we didn't worry about the thickness. We just, we just drew it first like we often do, and then we make the thickness afterward. I'm going to drop down a little bit and put a little curve here. I want to be careful I don't um, crowd my pepperonis. I'm going to put a little curve there. A little curve there, and a little curve, like a little upside down J right there. So I got plenty of room left for pepperonis. Um, make this a little bit thicker if I can, so it don't look too bad in the video. Then I'm going to go back and make them a little thicker if I want to, okay? Because they're actually, they're not just lines, they're actually pepper, cut, cut green peppers. Okay, then I'll um, get my uh, red paint, and I will make some half circles, like a half circle there. Where, where, again, wherever they fit, okay? Wherever they fit, by all means, wherever they fit. Half circle there, half circle down there. And then I'll draw the edge after that, and then I'll paint it in 
with red, just red. And I'll get some brown paint and uh, make my sausage. So this is going to be like little cloud shapes, but a little, a little bit up there. Oh, I already said I forgot a um, pepper. A little there. But maybe one will go off the side here, like that. It was off the side a little bit. Not, but still flat on the edge, though. Flat on the edge. And then one down here. Again, flat on the edge, so it looks like it's part of the cut. Maybe a little bit there. And I left out that. I'll, I'll go ahead and put it in there just for um, consistency's sake. Just a little bit of green right there. It's a little curve like that. Okay, then I'm going to come in and paint my, um, that's all my objects. So now I'm going to come in and paint my um, outlines in the back. And what that's going to be is it's going to be um, a multiple things, okay? I've got multiple things, including mushrooms. Now, I don't have any mushrooms on the, on the pizza, but it's nice to have a little mushroom shape. It's kind of like, kind of like a skull, honestly. It's a little curve around like this. And then angle out and then flat like that, like a little shamrock sort of, but with, with a round top. And I'll put those all over the place, okay? Make some go off the side, okay? So, so you got stuff off the side. And then I'll, but I don't put anything that goes behind the pizza, you'll notice. Then I'm going to put some little peppers, okay? Some little peppers, they curve like that. Now, the thing about the peppers, make them look like peppers, is that they have a flat end to them, okay? They're not like a worm, they have an actual cut on the edge. And that'll be true when we go to outline them as well. And I'll put some pepperonis. Pepperonis are just like um, a circle with a circle inside, okay? Maybe a thinner circle inside. And then I've got some um, curly cues, kind of finish things out. Um, just, just kind of finish things out a little bit. You know how we do curly cues? We start on the inside and work it out from, to the outside. And then I'll put little dots everywhere to um, fill everything else in, okay? Kind of like that. Okay, it'll look better when it's dry. But you get the, you get the idea? Okay, now I'll come back in with my... Um, small brush on my pizza. I'm ready to paint my pizza lines now. I'm going to start out with green and I'm going to paint around these little green parts. Now the green parts, I'm going to paint a line on one side and a line on the other side and then cut off on the edges like that so they're cut off. And if they're small, remember we paint on the outline, on the edge, the uh, orange, and then we paint the um, instead of painting on the green, remember? we always make, So I'll make a line here and a line here so that starts out straight and then paint that around like that. Again, it's all kind of wet. You get the idea. Like that. And it can look a little wiggly, too. Remember, it's a, it's a pepper, after all. It's not, it's not um, a candy cane. So a little bit wiggly. Like that. And then the others. Okay, I'm going to do it real quick. This is all pretty, pretty straightforward here, so I don't mind not being quite together here. You get the idea. Everything else will be dry. It'll look fine. Okay, then I'm done with that. We'll get my brown paint. And if I get my brown paint, go my brown, yeah, brown, yeah, brown, okay. On my brown, I'm going to put my lines around. I'll put a little line across the top here. Now, this orange in there, too, I don't, that was just a mistake when I first did it. I just want to put a brown line across here. Now, this brown line is, is remember, this top of cheese going up against the crust. So, it's not going to look quite so long as that, but it's still going to be a little wiggly, a little curvy like that. And that looks good, like that. And then, um, I'm going to go around my pepperonis. And my pepperonis are going to be, first, the outer edge. But they don't get the inner edge because that's not part of the pepperoni. That's the cut. Okay, that's the edge of the pizza cut. So it doesn't get the edge on there. And then on the inside, I'm going to try to do a little thinner line. Maybe it doesn't even go around quite the whole way, so it shows that little kind of lip that they have sometimes. Like that. And then I'll come in with my um, black. It's black's last color. I'll get some black paint. And I will paint my... My line around my eyes, okay, I always try to make that a little thinner if we can, a little thinner if we can, and I'm painting my little line a little um, outside of my color, uh, outside of, on my color rather, so to keep my eyes a little closer together looking, and keep my eyes bigger, but that's up to me. And then I'll, again, if he's looking at you, he's gonna, the eyes are going to be a little bit to the inside, okay, not, not in the center, a little bit to the inside, so I'll come a little bit to the inside, put a little dot like that, a little bit to the inside, put a little dot like that, and then I'll make that bigger to my satisfaction, and so that, that match up pretty well. And then a little smile right underneath the um, mustache. And then I'll paint around my little, uh, a little uh, pepperonis. They're black, but again, I'm still not painting the edge because I want to paint that as part of the outline of the um, of the uh, of the pizza piece itself. Okay, that's that. I think that's everything. Uh, now, once that's done, I'm going to paint around my pizza. Now, my pizza is going to be a nice little kind of a start and stop line because even though it's you know, even though it's, it's a smooth cut, it still has a little bit of um, kind of oozy edges and stuff. So I'm not making it wiggly. I'm just going to start and stop it a little bit. 
I paint that all the way down. And I like to make a little curve at the bottom, so it's not real, um, not super, super um, pointy, because you know usually that little bit of pizza uh, cheese hangs over. And then I'll start up here again, like that. Bring that down, and all the way to the bottom. And then on the um, make it a little thicker. And then on the top, I'm gonna make that a little bit kind of start and stop also, but a little bit more of a um, little bit curvier type series of of, of, of lines. Look a little bit more like a doughy edge. And I think that's it, okay? Good luck, have fun with it, and uh, it turned out really well. It'll be really, really cute when kids do it. Thank you.